you're a grown man, a grown woman, an adult. It's time for work. You want to go to the supermarket. You want to go to a party. You want to go on vacation, whatever. Just you. Just you and your significant other. Sometime alone. You turn around and there it is. A child. Some kids. Where did it come from? Where did they come from? They came from you, nigga. No, 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 no. <sighs> well, back in Jamaica, back in Ghana, back in the Philippines, back in Colombia, back home, you just leave them with grandma or you just leave them with your neighbors. Hell, you just left them by themselves. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. My point is, you had that support system, that community. The thing is, you're new to this country. You don't know anyone. You don't trust anyone. But you still have them kids. And you still have to live. Let's talk a little bit about childcare. Whoa, go on everybody. I'm Andre. This is Roman a Day. I don't know better give back UC and Bolt in money. Where's my money? Where's my money? My immigrant friends, my Caribbean friends, my African friends, my Asian friends, my South American friends, my European friends. Forget everything you know about everyday childcare back home. In America, there are a lot of rules, official and unspoken, that you have to follow. Real quick, officially there are like only three states in America that have legal ages where you can leave your kids alone at home. Those states are Illinois, which is 14 years Oregon, which is 10 years, and I think Maryland, which is 8. But trust me, I don't care what age your kid is. Leave your kid alone at home and something pops off and they find out, they can hit you with that neglect, which can also go into child abuse territory. And add that to the fact that you're not even one of us. You see where I'm going, right? Now listen, I move a lot. And everywhere my family goes, everywhere we have moved to, we've always met folks willing to babysit. This can range from the cool people, you know, the people who you might actually let your kids stay around, to folks you wouldn't even stay around. And we've just always refused. Is it a trust issue? Maybe. Or maybe we just listen to too much crime junkie. For a very long time, our daughter was stuck with us because we just didn't want to leave her with anybody. We didn't know anybody. We just didn't want to leave things up to chance. I remember the first time the grandparents were in town and we finally got the chance to go out on a date without the kids in the background. I checked so often in the backseat of the car, so many times because it was just so quiet and that wasn't something we were used to. Now we were always protected by God. Lucky, some might say. We were always able to have at least one of us stay home until the age of pre-K. But what about the folks that aren't so lucky? God not there with them? What about that single parent? What about that mom or dad that got left alone in a new country? Now before you run me down, I know, I know, I know. There are options. But hear me out. That's your child. Yours. You don't know these people. You don't know this culture. And this culture doesn't know you. But you still have to name. But you still have to eat. You still have to work. work, 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 work. Just imagine that headspace. Just imagine the loneliness of not having anyone around. And I know some of us have family in other places. But you don't always want to move close to family for whatever reason you have. You don't like that state. You don't like that city. You don't like that family. All of that burden, man, I call you pick me a burden. All of that can go down the road of mental troubles. And that's a story for another episode. But for now, we are fighters, right? Not all the time. And not all the time situations end up good. Anyways, you came to this country to make a better life for yourself and your family. You came to work. But, 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 another thing that will give immigrants a good old taste of culture shock is the cost of childcare in this country. Do me a favor. Google it. 
Google it. Google it. Google it. Google. Goggle. Google. Google. Now, say you have the luxury of a two-parent home. Sometimes it just makes sense for one parent to stay home, especially when it's more than one child because those prices will drive you in the negatives. And the thing is, you'll just be caught in the cycle of working just to use all of that salary to pay for someone else to look after your kids. When you think about it, isn't that pretty much what school is? Listen, I didn't go into the different options available for you in these situations. I'll leave that up to you to do the research. But I just wanted y'all to know the circumstances expatriates go through in their everyday lives in a new country, in a different country, home away from home. And sure, everyone goes through these difficulties. Well, you think people that have been living here their entire lives don't have kids, don't have these issues to worry about? But add the spice of being in a new land, away from the support system of community that you grew up in. And when you think of that, it just gives you an idea of what we experience here in the Bed of Roses. <laughs> Anyways, that's just my little two cents. I saw it go, two cents. Bed of roses. Bed of roses. <laughs> Until next time. Roam good. Reason I no bed of roses.